What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Welcome to This Is The Police 2. Now you might remember if you are a long time fan of this channel, uh, and of the previous channel I played This Is The Police. Uh, and this just came out, I did not know that this was coming out. Uh, this is the sequel, This Is The Police 2, obviously. Now, I did not finish This Is The Police. Um, so I'm probably not going to know 100% what's happening in the story, but I'm hoping I can pick it up and get little bits of information here and there. But let's get in and play. This was a really fun series when I first played it, so hopefully it's just as good for the sequel. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, nice way to stop. At approximately 1 in the morning. The Sharpwood Police Department received an anonymous call. The source said he knew where we could find the headquarters of the neckties. A group of drug traffickers that recently arrived in town. Anonymous information is rarely reliable. But for Sheriff Wells, shutting down the neckties was the department's primary goal. So he immediately went to the address indicated, along with two other officers for backup. Turn one! Oh! Wait! They turned it into a... Oh! They turned it into a turn-by-turn. -turn. That's cool! Run here, run, run, run as fast as you can. We have a visual. Hide behind the walks. Get behind the walks. Get down, get down. We have visual. I think we're good. All right, suspect's turn. Oh shit. This is weird. It's like a turn by turn. It's like how South Park, um, the fractured butthole turned out. It's the same play system. What am I doing? Oh, get closer. Stun the suspect. Roger. Oh, nice. Shit. Roger. Roger. Cuff him. Nice. Cuff him, yeah! I like this! This is so cool! This is really cool! I'm digging this. In like a big bad way. Turn three. Alright, let's go. So this is like the tutorial. The tutorial-y kind of part of it. Uh, shoot with taser. Bada bing, bada boom. Bloody bang. Run around, run around, run around. Are you? Oh, hi. Pepper spray. Is it pepper spray? Yeah. Oh. Uh uh, girl. Mm mm. Turn four. It's a cool system. I kind of like it. I'm a fan. I mean, it does it carry the same weight as the first one? I don't know. I don't know whether it does, to be quite honest. But I still like it. I think it's a cool, it's a cool way to do it. All right, cuff him. Coffin boys, yes. Hey. <laughs> that's a, that's the kind of cop I'd be like a like a weird 1950s cop. Yeah, see, here we are. Ah, coffin, see. We have a visual. That's who I'd be. Prepare to engage. Yeah. Take down the door. 
Oblige the door. Roger. Oh, she. Shoot the culprit. Really? Eh. I think I can only shoot him in the hand. Roger. Okay. Shot him in the arm. He's budging. Down the ground! Down the ground! Jimmy the window. Okay. Roger, Roger. Fair enough, I guess. In you get. Break open the window. You could just walk around like a normal fucking person, but whatever. Roger. I mean, you could have caused less destruction, you know. But hey, I'm not going to tell you how to do your job. I'm not saying anything. Roger. Oh, nice. They're disappearing. Is it the Matrix? Fuck me, they all just die? What the fuck? November 21st. Okay. I dig November 21st, why not? Sure. But today, I wasn't so lucky. Okay. I mean, it wasn't just a regular funeral, was it? Oh, Sharpwood showed up. Can you imagine? I had okay. a teacher, Mrs. Dawson. I haven't seen her since the third grade. How's she, she doing? She moved or died. I, I mean, it's not easy to lose track of someone in this town, right? And today, I'm looking at her in the crowd, all alive and healthy. Imagine, Who right? are you talking to? And the crowd are you was crazy, huge. or are you actually it talking to someone? crowd, more like a whole like, river of people. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? look at all of them, and you can't even see the end. All the roads were blocked. Just thinking. <laughs> it's weird. There's this dead Whoa, guy who's, who's guy? making it so an alive guy grandpa? can't get his groceries on time, right? <laughs> no? Uh, I mean, I just wanted to say, I, uh... I got a niche stomach. I really ah. respect Sheriff Wells. He died a hero, right? Ask anyone. Sheriff Wells. Everybody says he's Oh a hero. shit, they did die! I'm just saying, I got a job to do. Shit. I don't want to lose it. Nobody wants to lose a job. Within like the first. It's not easy to Like find six a new minutes of this shop. game, the sheriff's right. already dead. So, uh, <clears throat> the money's right there in front of your nose. Go oh, it's the guy the from the last one. It's Jack. Mr. Nash. Cool. I, thank you. <laughs> I can dig that. I just wanted to say that. You don't need to call Mr. Summers. I mean, he'll be yelling at me either way. I deserve it, right? <laughs> what the fuck is I'm wrong just, with you, kid? Uh, oh, by the way, those uh, cigars you asked about? Yes. Uh, Caesars, right? Mr. Summers said we My normally cigars. don't have them in stock, but we can order them. Yes. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks or so, but what's a couple of weeks when it's a quality product, right? I remember really one day to sell I was me on my cigars. I mean, what the fuck? I don't know how long I'll be staying. Oh, I, uh... I hope. I, I mean, it's interesting to I say that he actually got through that, soon. then. Like, You're at the like end of uh, number one. Because he was in a coma when one I left of our off. Best customers, am I right? I and people were saying that was like on. halfway through Lots the game, so leaving, even pale I'm like left really and out of the fucking loop like on this. 90 or something, maybe even 100. I, I, I mean, I, I'm sure you'll find yourself a decent job, right? Yes. <laughs> I, I will always land I mean, on my feet. Have a good, well, good, good day, Mr. Like Nash. Like a fucking cat. He's still an alcoholic. He's still an alcoholic. Jack, what is... Jack, who hurt you? Who, who was it? Please. Hey, Lily. So we're getting rid of this thing Hey, tomorrow? Lily, how you doing? What? We do what? That drawing thing in the hall. We're taking it down tomorrow? I already called Uncle Dimitri. He'll cart it off for us. Hey, who the fuck well, are you, you mustache? Whoa. First, it's not a drawing. It's a tapestry, okay? A beautiful work of art. 
You didn't notice, did you? Second, it's hanging there for a reason. And third, and most important, we're... Oh, oh, you mean that drawing in the hall. Great. I'll get yeah, a yeah, hanger yeah. tomorrow so we can put the TV up there. And maybe a VCR, too. W what do you think? Jesse, we are not taking down the tapestry. TV? That's not a bad idea. Sure, but I was thinking, well... God know, damn it. Why are the boys working against her? You know, I'm tired get of having to drive just 20 get minutes to the Bad Ears gas station for smoked cheese in the middle of work. <laughs> like, I've got nothing better to do, right? As if I, uh... <laughs> you see how much space that giant thing takes up? We can put a TV Fuck me, up, an arcade though. game, Jesus probably Christ. even a pinball machine. Speaking of which, my son moved in with his wife in Derry, so we've got an extra VCR. Yay, good is, for you, he sir. He took all his videotapes with him, so we can't... Oh, no, tapes are no problem. I've got lots of tapes. Plus, if we tell the guys that everyone's bringing in a couple of movies, then we... Look, I just need you to... Hey, what kind of movies you got? All sorts. Bloody Shirt, Bloody Shirt 2, Bloody Shirt 3, Bloody that's, Shirt That's four, really a an acquired women, taste. Demons on Fifth Avenue. And you've got that movie where this pilot is flying around the earth, but he's running out of fuel over the ocean, so he makes a deal with Satan, and Satan sends him to fight an army of skeletons and a skeleton general. You can't... I fucking yeah, dig that movie, the yeah. Goes into hell. One of my favorites. <laughs> goes I'm, I like that. I wish that was movie. a real am movie. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> no. uh, when I uh, saw uh, him at the end, when the girl throws the sword into the fire, my heart jumped out of my chest. Betty almost needed to call the ambulance. I swear to God. <laughs> you need to take better care of yourself, old man. I've also got this movie. It's <laughs> Don't actually a make cartoon, fun but it's for age. adults, you know. Play this guy gets the ability to undress people with his mind. So he goes into work, and he works in a bank, and his boss is a real bitch. But the bitch has some great boobs, and she calls him over to her. Tomorrow. <laughs> You're almost... Tomorrow. How dare and you, boys? In front of a lady. Daddy, no. What the hell, Gail? Sit down and get ready to type. We agreed. Lily, we'll finish that damn letter of yours tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll even... Gail, take off your stupid hat and get back to your desk. I'm the sheriff and you'll do what I say. I'm the sheriff. She's, uh, she's a bit of a bull buster. Lily. By the sounds of it. You do know. You don't have to be such a bitch, right? It just helps if I am, you know. Daddy is gas station. I just want to set my phone top. So if we don't finish this stupid letter in the next ten minutes, I'll be out of smokes until the morning. And if that happens, I'll be coming into work in a bad mood tomorrow. <laughs> and if I come into work in a bad mood, just I just shut up and type. I okay, agree. Okay. I'm ready. And for God's sake, let's stop taking half an hour on every sentence, okay? First. Read what you've this, got so The cutscenes weren't this long in the of last course, one, were they? We won't be able to pay you serious money. It's like we won't be able to pay you anything at all. But I hope that you feel the same as me, that the safety of our native town of Sharpwood is a question of what was the and one? honor and not it was a like free bird no, free no, free bill free bird free bill free bird from the beginning Lily, free bird we read it from the top was was um this is the police Dear one Captain Carter I imagine you've already heard the sad news that has prompted me to write you. I'll be frank. This letter you're holding is a plea for help. The police department of Sharpwood right. was deprived. That's enough. Oh, that's I can't take it anymore. Just pick up what you left off. Do you think How Carter dare you? This? Lily, let's just finish it. And then... They got him. The guy from the flower shop, remember? Who? He's what? one of the neckties. Yeah. We're sure this time... Where are they taking him? Are they bringing him here? They already did. He's here. Did he have the goods on him? Has he said anything? What What does he know? Hey, you want to find out? Or are you just going to sit there? Okay, we got one of the neckties. Apparently that's the most notorious gang in the fucking city at the moment. Oh god, he's like all bloody... Jesus. What happened? What happened to him? Yeah, exactly. Well, as far as I understand, he had a hard time getting into the car. <laughs> right. Didn't like getting out of the car. You beat either. the shit out and of a really witness. Like what is wrong him? with wow. you guys? That was no fun at all. And then when he sat down on a chair, he, he has accidentally took the shit, Charlie. <laughs> what? The sheriff asked a direct question, and I'm trying. Get out, all yeah, of you. Get the Lily, fuck out. 
I think it'd be best if you just... What's the problem, Gail? Isn't it best if the sheriff interrogates important suspects? <sighs> Isn't it great when the commander takes a personal interest in the work? Don't yes. you think? Yes. Okay, guys, you hear that? Let's get out of here. <sighs> oh, wow. Why would you do that to someone? Like, I know that they're criminals and shit, but they're still people, you fucking animals. My god. It kind of looks like Big Bigby Wolf. Wolf Among Us Season 2. That's coming out this year. I'm fucking pumped about that. Alright. I know there was somebody in your gang that murdered Sheriff Wells. Tell me you pulled the trigger and maybe I'll let you go. You're from around here, right? I'm sure you heard Sheriff Wells got killed, so what do you know about it? You and your friends lured Sheriff and ambushed and killed him and a bunch of cowards. Yeah, that's right. You and your necktie gang. Can you even imagine how hard we're coming down on you? I'm going to be a hard ass. I want to be a hard ass. What are you talking about? You're going to bring down a full force... You're going to bring down the full force of the village police? Oh no, please, anything but that. Get your facts straight, bitch. Alright, tell me what else. The drugs. Where do you keep them? As I understand it, you never kept drugs at your base. Why is that? I'm not leaving there until you tell me your hideout, where your hideout is. Why is that? I'm going to try and do a bit of psychological warfare here. Why you think I'm going to talk to you? You haven't put two and two together. You even finished school? Maybe you should enroll in cooking classes. Oh! Sick burns! Oh! You could at least hide the suitcase. <laughs> you ass What? Don't make oh, fun of my cooking. It's just Charlie. <laughs> shut your it's trap full protein. and get ready to question the suspect. She looked very defeated when she walked out of there. Lily, I just want... I just want you to... You do understand, Gail, that this will soon be over. All of this. You understand that, right? I know, Lily. I know. Please. Don't let me I go, girl. I need to finish writing that letter to Captain Carter. Happy, happy campers, happy, happy campers, happy, 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 happy. Huh. There's like awkwardly long moments where it's just no sound. Who is that? Oh, we're back with Jack. Hello? Hello, my name is Bogdan. Are you satisfied it is with Russian, your water man. supply system? I bet you I am not. selling the vodka. I am here to solve your problem. That sounds a lovely. I Where am. is the vodka? Uh, excuse me, what? It's not so nice to run to the toilet outside in the cold, is it? Especially at our age. You're here to fix you my toilet at night. And by then you've already frozen Do I look dumb? <laughs> and it's lucky it's the you're only Russian thing you've frozen. spy. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about too, don't you? Uh look, listen, this isn't my house. I'm just renting it. All the better. So All the, the homeowner better. will pay now for show me your shit. While you will enjoy the new <laughs> toilet in warmth and comfort. Are you I don't know why I found that so funny. All right, Jack, Jack. Toilets? He's a fuck up there, right? at night. Don't Calm down, silly. just in case he's You'll a legitimate business person that's just creepy. A new toilet oh, no, in oh, no, the I'm house is... Dad. Well, it's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> it's the cherry on top of the You're cake, right. eh? You're right, I'm here a little after hours. Uh, Mr. Um... Well, you see, our farm is just taking its first steps in this business, so I can only visit my customers after I'm done with my day job. Okay. But the toilet inside your house 
is doubly good at night, right? <laughs> Do understand oh, don't fuck with needs, him. Sir. Don't try I to get information out of him. You have no idea who you're messing with. For 20 years, every night. But when I finally got a toilet inside my house, I... Please, go. Just, yeah. Just go. Fuck I off, I want man. you to leave. I know what you're thinking. You think that in Pussy such a gun. small house, there's Get the fuck no room up, for Alan! It. But I assure you, if you just allow me to come in for a moment... Leave right now. I'm okay, asking Jack, you to Jesus. leave. I just want to oh my God, Jack, you're escalating this so quickly. I know that I you like change it. your mind. The next time you need to go in the middle of the night, you'll remember me and think, Damn, that guy this was music, right. Uh, this the eerie, the like, sound or music or wind effect is needs. really creeping me out. So, why don't I've asked you to leave. You need to leave. Now. Get out. Leave. All right, all right. But I bet you won't last a week before yeah. you change your mind. Fuck I'm off, dude. you right now. You won't last a week. I don't like that. You won't last a week. Are you sending someone to put a hit on me? The fuck? What does that mean? They put a lot of emphasis on that. You won't last a week. Jack, get out of there. I don't, I don't feel safe now. I really don't. I feel like they're going to fucking try and kill me. Within the week. That was so creepy and weird. What the fuck? Jack is really not okay. What is this? Cutscene simulator? How many fucking cutscenes are there? Jesus Christ. Thought this was like a resource management game where you're like. You're managing all your fucking police officers and sending them out for different shit. What, what happened to that? Dear Gary. I'm sorry to tell you that I am now a woman. <laughs> Dear Dylan, Oliver, and Edgar. I give anything to be sitting with you on the porch of our old house, smoking a cigarette, a cigar, talking and passing the day. I know you have a lot of questions for me, a lot of unpleasant questions. It's not hard to hear them in my head, but it won't be so easy to find the right answers. Hopefully that's giving out like a good effect that I'm going that close to the mic. I don't fucking know. Maybe it makes it sound better. Maybe it doesn't. Is it... Dad, is, is it true what they're saying about you? My only crime was wanting to take care of myself and my family. I'm just sorry it took me that long. My crime was I trusted the wrong people. I was used and then thrown in the trash. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was like. Why did you flee from free- Oh, it was Freeburg! Alright, piano dude, calm down, piano! Calm your fuck! It's not that I ran away. I just needed some time to regroup. So I could go back and clear my name. Sometimes retreat is the only way to, to victory. I remember because I didn't want to be killed in prison. I know so much about every influential scoundrel, scoundrel in the city that they would never let me live to see another day, see my day in court. I'm going to be honest with them. Because I feel like honesty is what these people need. Why did mum really leave? Because she decided she wanted to fuck some 30 year old insurance agent. And I hope he gave her exactly what she wanted. Sally, your grandmother once told me that I'm too old. That I don't have any energy. And that's why Laura left. I didn't really understand what she meant at the time. But now it seems to, it seems to me she hit the nail on the head. 
A little bit. A little bit. Did you have an affair on the side too? I wouldn't say that. For one thing, your mother had already left. And it's strange to call a relationship between two people an affair. If they only talked on the phone and never met. I don't even need to read the other one. I, I... Why did you get in bed with the Mafia? Because they had a slumber party. Fuck! Do I have to explain everything to this damn chap? No, sorry. <laughs> Stupid joke. Um, I didn't go with... I didn't go to them. They found me. No, cho They left me no choice. When they threatened to hang your children's heads from the chandelier. You do exactly what they ask you of you. No hesitation, no questions. I got on with them because the Mafia can't be defeated, only controlled. And looking at how well I controlled crime in Freeburg, I'd say I managed things pretty well. Did you kill people? I never killed anyone. I have many vices, but I'm no killer. With my own two hands, but I gave orders that led to some deaths. Sometimes these were bad people, sometimes not so much. It's up to you whether you think that makes me a killer. No, I didn't kill anyone. I didn't directly kill anyone. Fuck you. I'm a good guy. How's your health? I feel good despite parting with your mother. Fleeing from the feds and surviving two comas. He had two comas in the end of that? Damn. One thing I know for sure, I won't survive a third. I'm not complaining, but I'm lonely. I'm afraid I'm not going to make any new friends here. Either way, new friends at my age don't lead anywhere, except another funeral. No, the coma thing's a bit more wire-hearted. Keep it a little bit more light-hearted. Why didn't you just retire? I catch criminals. That's all I know. It's all I'm good at. I didn't retire because I love my job and I wasn't too old to keep on doing it. That's a valid reason. I'm going to go with that. I don't even need to read the second one. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid I'll be caught, locked in a cage and put on display like a, like a circus freak. And the only power I have left is to bash is to bash my skull on the bars of a cell. I'm afraid I won't have a chance to clear my name or even explain myself before the war, before Freeburg, and most importantly, before you. You deserve an explanation the most. That's why I'm writing you this letter. What are you planning to do next? I've changed a lot. Though predict predictability is still not coming is still not among my vices. I know that I have some I do have some I, I do know I have to do something. The only question is how far I'll have to go. I can't tell you. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just I don't even know I'll have to decide No. Tell her the truth. Or him. He had a daughter, right? Was it daughter? I think it was daughter. This is getting heavy, man. I wasn't expecting it to be heavy from the get-go. I'm waiting for it to go back into actual gameplay so I can end the episode. Ha! We could hardly shut the guy up. He wasn't so tough. I didn't even get to the phase three. <laughs> phase three is where we I don't have a lot of time. They're moving their headquarters, but we should be able to nab most of them if we hurry. Okay, Sports let's do here. it. The old summer camp, but they never keep the goods at their headquarters. They always use a different place, usually an isolated house on the outskirts. Okay, most then the let's time, search the area. Have random tenants who don't even suspect that there's anything hidden under their floorboards. That way, the drugs can never be linked back to the neckties or the neckties to the drugs. You remember They're kind of smart. I like them. Persetti? I like them. They're smart cookies. And broke that big mirror. Mr. Blaine's converted it into a house, and now he rents it out for almost nothing. 
two weeks ago, an old man moved in, and under his floorboards, there's 27 kilograms of heroin. Holy fuck. I'm starting fuck. to think that guy is leading us around by the nose. I'm betting there's four or five dogs. Good God. But you said it's a small place, right? Well, I bet there's two at least. I don't believe they just left the stuff under some old man's floorboards. Even if there is an old man living there, I bet he's in on it. Hey, maybe old man is just a nickname. What do you think? I bet he's a right cutthroat, hunkered down there, ready to ambush. Are they gonna like show up a jack's well, ass or you something? You and Corey, go check it out. Take two out cars in is. case it's not just an old man living in the house. Whoever you find there, bring them in, and don't Great. forget about the heroin. Rest of you will come with me to storm their headquarters. Sound good to you, Lily? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Really know. All right. Are you getting back into the game, please? I want to end this episode. Yay! All right. All events that require your attention are displayed on the Sharpwood map and by the card. Cool. All right. You know what? That's gonna be the end of this first episode. This is actually really cool. Um, there's a lot more cutscenes in it that I would like. I'd like a bit more gameplay, but it's still really cool. The story's still progressing. Um, it looks like Jack in the end of the last game, um, it looks like his past finally caught up with him where he was doing dodgy stuff but trying to, The way that I played it, he was doing dodgy stuff but trying to keep it even, to keep everybody satisfied and to keep the, the crime rate as low as it could be. Um, but it looks like everything caught up to him in the end. Um, but I'm excited to see where his story is going to go. I feel like his story is going to go interesting places in this video game now that he's on the run, kind of. Um, so I'm interested to see how this progresses. But for now, Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the Popey JN website down below. PopeyJN.com, of course, is your one-stop shop for everything Popey JN related. From upcoming live events to our premium content service uh, where you sign up uh, for $4 a month and you get access to hours and hours of additional content not found here on the YouTube channel. But if you sign up right now, you get a 30-day free trial uh, with no strings attached. Also, the Popey JM merch is over at PopeyJM.com as well. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it, subscribe, and don't forget to share it on social media. Help us out, man. We're building a new channel here. Um, any publicity and sharing and subscribers that we can get, uh, the better. So it would mean a lot if you guys would share, share, share. Thank you guys, and until next time, I'm YouTube's Purpy JN. Peace out. Good night. Joyful pictures fill your mind Little one, sleep tight It's time to leave this day